This is XOOX. We are back in Shrouded. And where I left you off last time, we just finished getting the alchemist and uh, built him a home. And now it's time to get another NPC. And uh, the last thing I mentioned in the other video was that we were going to go for the hunter first. Even though the alchemist gave us a quest for an eternal spell, uh, let's get as many NPCs as possible first. And then we can start with this one. Okay, so we have it marked up as a waypoint. And let's see, it's 387 meters, so not, it's not far. Let's just uh, jump out and see where it takes us. We'll probably get pretty close. Just want to get an idea roughly. I'm looking a little bit this way, maybe. Okay, so we can probably land over there by this, this little lump. Uh, okay, run and fly. As far as I remember, we can we can get up here on this side. So no, we can't get up there. Um, do not try and go down to this, you will die. So there's a little wolf then here. As you can see, it's full of twigs. So if you want to go crazy, you can do that here and just uh, hammer away. Uh, so it's a nice little twig repository, but you will also occasionally find uh, other items here. Mostly potions, uh, unfortunately, but you know, or salt or you know anything else than twigs. So you might want to check it out if you feel like seeing how far you can go or deep how deep you can go. Um, I just wanted to show you this. I'm not going to go waste time on this right now. Uh, up again. Well, there's a little piece of fur here. We're we gonna go up here. No, wrong. Up there. Really? Let's see. Where's the. Up there. Okay. Well, it's, it's a vault we're looking for, so. Just feel like the. Why is the icon tricking us like this? Ancient hunter, ancient world hunter, it is up there. So a little bit of a tip for you. If you want to find out, you know, you're standing here looking and said, oh my God, how the heck am I going to come up there? Okay, the, you have two choices really. Oops, wait, let's just, we have to fight this guy first. Shield slam. So you, you could use the map and get a general idea. If you're looking at this, this means elevation. So every line it becomes a little bit higher. So you can roughly gauge where it would be possible for you to get up. And to be honest, from this part, there will not be a direct path up. Uh, it looks like it's not even possible over here. So the option is to go around and find the way we kind of circle around and get back up the other way. Or you can choose if you brought, but you need to bring at least two pickaxes or have the mats to make new ones. Then you can kind of hack a stair into the um, into the wall. It will take some time. I did that a few times because oh I didn't really want to bother running around, so I actually just made a, a rock stair up uh, a mountain. Um, but yeah, it took me like two and a half pickaxes at least, so that's the price. It, and I don't think it was even worth it. It was just like, when, since I was already busy yeah. on far into it, I just decided to keep going. So yeah, silly, but lesson learned. Okay, just want to grab some stuff here. So, what we're doing, we are gonna find a way around. So, you see that red flag? You cannot enter that. 
Uh, this is level dependent, so you can't enter Red Fog, it will kill you in one second. Uh, so I guess we have to take the other long way around. Um, oh, I could pickaxe it now. I'm not gonna pickaxe up there. We'll find a way. So yeah, we were safe. Let's just speed up the video. Oh my god. I just did exactly what I told you not to do. <laughs> apparently that cave had... Oh no. Yeah, okay, apparently that cave had a um, red shroud or deadly shroud in it. So, you see, that's what happened. Um, but I can comfort you that the items are not lost. Uh, and it will be possible to retrieve them. Because you can... Oh, they, they will be deposited outside of the shroud. Kind of, you know, on the edge. So we're not in complete uh, peril. <laughs> ah, see, where is it? It's down there. I really want to find an easier way up there. But it looks like actually we have to go this way around, right? So maybe take the spire and then fly as far as, or as close as possible. But for now we have to go get the stuff back. Well, better you, well, better me than, than you, I guess. Um, let's fly away. Oops, that was close. I have tried a few times where you kind of just skim the edge of a, a building or a piece of landscape and then you get deglided and then you fall to the ground. Wow, nasty guy. Let's just get these in. Sorry, that's me panicking. Oh, come on. Wow, another archer on me. Oh, rusty sword. Let's see what's here, wasn't it? So we can get in. Should be able to get this to it without dying. I can look without those items. Okay, don't want to get outside again. We're enshrouded, so we're just gonna find where we place where we're not. And then we can now fast travel to the spire instead. These guys are annoying. Jump, jump. I think we can get away with... Yep. Unshrouded. Good. Fast travel. Spire. And often this is actually the... Uh, the best way to travel or get around. Um, no, can't commune with it. Maybe from here? I think it's actually like a uh, ruin right there. Let's get some water. Let's get some berries. Let's get some... nothing else. Might want to hook this up to the staff, which we have where? Here. We need anything in place of this. We need... bandages maybe. Okay. Again, mining the stamina bar. I might have end up having to land here on the high ground. Have faith in it. Yes. Okay. Ah, don't have any room left. Let's see if we can still... Oh, look at that. This you cannot miss because then you're gonna go down to deadly ground. I think I can jump out here. 
Yep, just about. Mm. Oh, here's a little beacon. Oh, flame shrine, actually. These will also uh, respawn the flames you pick up uh, after you log out. So come back to these if you need sparks. You just revisit and get what you need. Uh, okay. Hunter time. I think I see something over here. It might be... Maybe there's a chest or something? No? No, it's ruins. Oh, look at that, that one. Uh, I actually think there's a quest here later on where you have to kill the, uh, the leader of those purples in there. But that's given by the hunter, so... Get the hunter first. Don't uh, waste your time now. Oh yeah, it's them there. It's their base actually. Now I remember. One beacon. Just gonna get some range shots on these guys first. This guy over here is a healer. So you might want to take him out first. Because otherwise he's gonna heal uh, your opponents. There we go. <laughs> he didn't like that. Oh, yes, friends. You can see they're not terribly hard to kill. Kind of cute. <laughs> They do have a few chests in here be before you go up uh, to the hunter. So I might as well grab those. And of course, animal fur is lying around. Hmm. I mean, those are useful to have. Uh, let's stitch something here. I don't need that right now. <laughs> I actually ditched the meat. I'd rather have those. Let's just check over here. Good measure. I can't remember if there's a chest here, but it doesn't hurt to have a look. these. Let's see, I know now I'm gonna need a sl uh, space here. Uh, also, there is a chest up here. I never figured out how to get up there. You have a point here where you can um, that's shown to you with your grappler. And then you kind of have to swing and jump onto this, but I could never reach it. So maybe this is something you have to revisit uh, in another level. Do not get touched by these because they will drain a lot of uh, heal uh, health. This guy has no loot, so run past, and then you might want to check these just to see if there's any potions or anything. And then we are back at the puzzle where you kind of had to press a few buttons to open the main door. gold chest in here or bronze can't really sell but oh let's just take this wax and fur so we need three uh, buttons to open that these you can just shoot like that and then the last one uh, what was it i think it's actually up somewhere 
horses around here. It's, oh, we have to go all the way up. And then we'll get to the hunter after. Oh, we got the land first. There we go. Get him. Or her, sorry. Stay up here. I want to check if there's anything interesting for you. Seems like no, in this case. We have a little bit of left over here. Silver chests. To be honest, this, I didn't find this the first time, so that's a pleasant surprise. Um, again, throwing stuff away. <laughs> See, this is why you need empty bags, and also you need to make a bag, which we will get to. There's an NPC that gives you eight slots uh, extra. Uh, seems like that was what here. Let's. Oh, racing again. Get over this. The question is, should I jump down here? Because it might be a shortcut, or... Doesn't look too far, does it? Whoa, that was a bit too far. Thank god I landed here, not at the bottom. Okay. This is the exit. We'll need to find the last button. Uh, what am I forgetting? Because I really want that chest. <laughs> Which one? We came the other way, right? So we can go back here. Let's see? I mean, I feel like it should be. Um... Oh, we don't have enough stamina. I feel like it should be easy to find. Oh. It is, look. Don't tell me I can't shoot that, right? That's just silly. That's why I need to jump, yeah. And now I remember I didn't get the chest, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Okay, let's get full stamina here. Drink some water just to improve. I don't think we can do better than that. Let's see if I can do it this time, which you guys are looking. Full stamina, right? Yeah. Ah, it's just... no. What do a guy need to do? See, I can't even reach it from this point. Which would have been better. Can I reach it from that? Maybe I can. Let's try that instead. What if we stand up here? Then we, oh, yeah, we can... There's another thing on the other side. Um... So we can try and jumping out, run and jump. There we go. Okay. Oh, I'll wait for the stamina. Did you get to see the meal we got? Ah, just a bow. Only level 3? What? What was this? That's level 3 and it's legendary, so... I guess... Uh, should I... Sacrifice? Now we can salvage that and then we can get this and salvage that as well. But... That'll 
page. Well, we got the hunter, we got all the chests, so let's head back. Fast travel. And then we actually only need one guy, and that's the carpenter. And, oh, sorry, two guys. Carpenter and farmer. <clears throat> Another happy flame. The hunter's alive! Okay, so for now we're gonna place the hunter inside here um, and then we can look at building a house for her at some other point. So if we just summon her, go. Then give me friends until further notice. Yes. Salt. And you're gonna need salt for different stuff. You also gonna need it for strengthening the flame um, but also to make fur or dry fur and there's a place and she just told us where let's see here salt mine it's literally literally what it says so it, you can mine salt just as you mine stone or copper or anything else it's a great place great place to get salt uh, why is there a oh that's because I left items on my tombstone good well let's uh, I won't aim you with emptying my bags but the next time the next episode we are gonna go for let's see if we can locate him I'm pretty sure the farmer is down here no that's a carpenter so we're gonna go for the carpenter and if time permits we can also do the farmer in the same episode so I hope you look forward to that. And until next time, just want to say thanks for stopping by. I hope you have fun and uh, see you again in the next one. Bye.